After one whole year of no new DPS heroes, Bencher is the newest one to the roster. But how does she stand against the rest of the cast? Well, today we're going to find that out. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So one thing to note off rip is once you burrow into the ground, you're basically immune to literally everything in the game. Now this includes Diva Bomb, but you can drill into her during Matrix. With Doomfist, since there's a little cast time when you're burrowing, you can't get cancelled out of it. And you will not be able to clash with Doomfist if you drill into him at the same time when you punch. But once again, you can burrow into the ground to avoid his meteor strike and everything else in his kit. Against Junker Queen, burrowing is actually a cleanse ability since you become immune. So if you're bleeding or getting antied, you can just burrow into ground to cleanse the effects off you. Against Mauga, same thing. If you burrow into the ground, you can take the burn off. Um, but once you get caught in his cage fight, you cannot use any of your abilities except for the primary fire. But if you're outside and you want to choose to burrow into the cage without coming out, you are immune for a while. She's immune once she's in the floor, so he can't really slam you or do anything to you. Against Orisa, if she does her jab spin, you can actually drill into her to push her away from your team unless she has fortify up. If Orisa ults, obviously you just kind of burrow into the ground and just once again become immune to everything. And while Orisa is jab spinning, she's not immune to your ultimate. Against Ramatra, um, the burrowing doesn't allow you to get hit by the slow field. And if the shield is up, it's kind of like a Ryan Shatter. So if you shoot into it, it's just going to cut off the wave. The burrow is honestly a really good counter ability. So if he tries to solo ult you, you can just kind of do this and waste all four of his seconds. Or even push him away with the drill if you wanted to. With Ryan, there's not really much to say. Ryan's in a bad spot right now. With Roadhog... You can actually burrow onto the trap, charge it, and kill the trap itself. Um, this is honestly a pretty cool find, um, just because this honestly does a lot for the rest of the cast, which we'll see soon. Besides that, there's not really much you can do against Roadhog other than, you know, just burrowing away from him. If you burrow and jump onto the trap, you're going to get caught, so just don't do that. Against Sigma... His grasp can eat your projectiles, obviously. Since your drill is a melee ability, it won't affect grasp, so he is not immune to your ultimate. So if he does that in your face, just do that for free. If you get caught in the Sigma ult, you can't use any of your abilities as anyone else can't. He won't cancel you out of your ult, but if you're burrowed into the ground, he can't catch you in the Sigma ult, so you're good there. Against Winston, it's not really much to say. He can't zap you if you're burrowed. If he does jump on you, you can push him away. And then as always, wave frame alt can't do anything if he's in his bubble. Against Ball, the really cool thing is that if he places his mines down, if you charge it, the radius of the emergence of the burrow, I guess to say, will kill all the mines in the radius. Which is pretty useful to know, since if you just use this against a Ball player, you can make their alt essentially useless. If you do choose to waste an alt, the wave frame alt will kill the rest of it, so you're kind of good there. Against Zarya... Not really much to say if you use your alt against her bubbles it will take two to pop a bubble you can use burrow to avoid the graviton and that, yeah that's about it moving on to the dps ash like mauga if you get caught in the dynamite you can just cleanse yourself from the burning effect against bob you can honestly displace him away from your team um just make sure you have like a decent amount of health or you're kind of just like pushing him away at the at your own risk uh, against Bastion, once again, not much to say. You can burn to the ground to avoid his ult. Even if Bastion ults, literally only push him away. Nothing else to it. Against Cass, if you get hindered, you can't use any of your abilities. If you get high noon, if you burrow before he gets the red skull, you can actually basically delay the red skull from appearing on you. And then if he does high noon you and you get into the ground, he basically can't kill you the whole time. Against Echo, if you get stuck in React in time, you can basically forget about the stickies. That's about it. Against Genji, he can deflect all of your projectiles, obviously. But if you drill into him, he won't take any damage since it's counted as a melee ability. The two things that Genji can't deflect, though, is when you emerge from the burrow and do like the charged up attack, as well as your ultimate. If you really hate Genji, you know, just two shot him on the floor. Against Hanzo, really not much to say. If he dragons even into the floor, you can't get hit by it. And yeah, that's about it. 
against Junkrat. Same thing with Roadhog and Wrecking Ball. As long as you don't just jump into a burrow into the trap, you will be fine. Riptire will be one-shotted by your ult if you decide to try to trade with it. Against Mei, you can cleanse the slow effects from her blast. And the really interesting thing is that if she does a wall, you can still like burrow into the wall, if that makes sense. Um, and you can even jump off it. In that little time you're jumping off the wall, it does make you immune to any CC ability, so be aware of that. If you're in Maze Alt, it would be best to use their burrow instead of your drill, because with the slow effect, it's really hard to get out with the drill. With Farah, um, you're immune to all of the rocket barrage shit. If timed right, the Concussive Blast can delay you burrowing into the ground, so be aware of that. With Reaper, you're immune to his Death Blossom if you burrow into the ground. I highly recommend you don't try to push him away with your drill, even though you get that extra health back from using your ability. If he decides to teleport, all you can really do is displace him, but that won't stop him from teleporting. I'm going to put Soldier and Soldier in the same spot just because they're kind of straightforward heroes and just shoot. If you're in the ground, they can't really do anything. But I guess if you do burn into the ground, Tag Visor won't be able to track you until you emerge. With Sombra, if you get hacked with EMP or her normal hack, you can't use any of your abilities like any other hero. Off shit from like Fire or Junker Queen Bleed. Um, she can cleanse herself from the virus if you get hit by it. And if you're in the ground and burrowed, you cannot be EMP'd. Against Sim, nothing really much to say. If you burrow, you can't be targeted by the turrets. Yeah, that's about it. Against Torb, if you burn to the ground once again, you can get the turrets aggro off you. And if you really want, you can like burrow onto the turret, get half and two shot it with your primary. If you get caught in the goo and react fast enough, you can actually literally sit in it and then go into the burrow. Against Tracer, if you actually react fast enough the moment you get stuck and go into a burrow, you can literally just counter the pulse bomb entirely. But if you're kind of stupid, and don't react fast enough and you can still die against venture reventure i don't really know what else to say other than it's just kind of a skill matchup if you're better you're better it's kind of just an immovable object versus a unstoppable force you kind of just sit there but it'd be like any other hero if you can bait out the immortality ability with Widowmaker, you can cleanse the Venomine effects, uh, but the most interesting thing is that if she pops sights on you, she can see you when you're burrowing. Be careful when you're emerging because she can land an easy headshot on you. Donna, you can sleep and do all that. Like Once again, all you can really do is just cleanse yourself when you get anteed. With Bap, once again, nothing much to say. Only real thing is like, I guess when he does his immortality, you can emerge from the ground and then get it one shot for your team. Other than that, same thing as usual. With Brig, um, it's quite interesting. I'm not sure if I found a bug. Obviously, when you're in the ground, she can't do anything to you. But with the wave frame alt, weirdly on one time, I was able to damage my friend behind the shield. Um, but that was like the only time. I'm not sure if it was the angle of the terrain I was shooting it on. But besides that, Brig should be immune if she has her shield up and you decide to alt since it blocks the LOS. Against Alari, you can cleanse off the Sunstrike off you once you go into the ground um yeah that's that's honestly about it against kiriko not really much to say um she's still op suzu won't displace you out i'd imagine if kiriko decides to rush and you pop your alt you can kind of just kill everyone rushing on there so keep that in mind against life weaver you can burrow onto the platform and follow him up there and then push him off as well i guess it's a pretty cool thing you cannot burrow under the life weaver tree. I guess it's because it's rooted down there. But if he decides to block you in somewhere and you try to burrow away, that is something to consider. And it's Lucio. He can't boop you when you're in the ground, obviously. If he does boop you, you can counter this movement with your drill. There's that. That's Mercy. She's a Glock. You shoot her. Nothing much to say. Against Moira, her suck cannot track you while you're in the ground. So you're safe there. And you can actually do a bit of burst damage to her in her ult. Against Zen, if you get discarded, you go in the ground and you cleanse yourself. The interesting thing is since you can displace people with your drill, if Zen pops his ult, you can actually push him off the map if you're in the right conditions. So, yeah. So get your TikTok clips and all that. But, hey, if you made it this far, hopefully you enjoyed the video and it was very informative to you. Please like, sub, and share. Comment down below if I miss any interactions with the heroes or techs. But with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, baby.